Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a video hop with Art Joy is Sharing or AJOS on Facebook. And I'm going to show you how to do, I think it's not an expensive project. You put into it what you have on hand and that's exactly what I did. So you're going to need some kind of a paper cutter that will do 12 inch paper because I'm cutting a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. So I'm going to cut the scrapbook paper at the one half inch mark. Whoops. It'd be good if it didn't move. There we go. And if I was going to, you'll, you'll see in a minute, but in order to make a lot of what we're doing, you'll need to use this whole sheet of paper. You can do it at the half inch mark or a one inch mark. I think I did, did I do my one inch, half inch? Yeah, I did half inch. Okay, so we're going to be making magic stars or I call magic stars, other people call them lucky stars. So as you can see, I have print on one side and then my scrapbook paper is white on the other. I'm sorry about the shadows. I've done everything I can. We're having a cloudy day today and I've got two or three different lights on and the more light I shine on here, the worse it gets. <laughs> All right. So you're going to take this 12 inch paper by half an inch wide and you're going to curl it, take the tip and roll. Like you know how they do those ribbons that people wear for breast cancer awareness? Well that's kind of the same shape what this will be when you look it on the other side. So you're going to have a little tail right here and you don't want to make this hole real small so when you curl it you don't want to go like real tight. You want to give yourself a little room because next part is you got to take the tail of this and you got to thread it through. Okay, so basically you're just making a place to thread another piece, uh, the other end of this through. You thread it through and pull. And then you can pull this one and the, you can pull both ends of the paper, but don't jerk on it because you will rip the paper. So just kind of gently, gently give it a little tug and then when it's nice and snug do kind of like a finger press on it or if you have a thumbnail you can crease it with your thumbnail. You are going to want to get a little pair of scissors and you're going to cut this even with the bend. Don't cut into the star itself but just Cut it nice and even, and it's gone. Then you're going to spend the rest of your time folding the paper, and the paper will dictate and show you the direction it needs to be folded. So when you fold the paper, you want to fold it so that it's nice and even with the edge on the other side, and crease it. Then you roll the paper over to the other side, and press it down and it goes this way. It will go this way, then this way, this way. All right, so I finger pressed it and then it's going to roll to this side. It'll go right, left, right, left, or left, right, whatever it is. It's alternating sides. And then we're going to go back to the left. Make sure you keep your stuff aligned. All the edges are nice and crisp. Then we're going to go back this way kind of line it up with the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the paper kind of helps you make it that way because it, it knows which direction it needs to go. And then back this way. Let's see, I'm doing it upside down, sorry. And then this way. It's supposed to be lined up with the side there. And then it'll bend around this way, then this way. Then you're going to have a tail at the end. What, it, it may be long if you make your paper longer. I don't know. I mean, I've done 12 inches. That's I do 12 inch stri strips. So I think I folded it one fold too many because you should get a pocket at the end. Let me see, let me go over one more time. Yeah, this is the pocket. All right, so 
you'll get to a point where you folded it too far. Just unfold it and go back and take a look and you should have a pocket from a previous fold in here. You can take this. Now I've seen people do it different ways. People will cut it off straight, tuck it in. I've seen people fold it and then tuck it in. And the girl's video that I'm going to give you the link for, she cuts this at an angle. If I can get my thumb out of there. <laughs> cuts it at an angle and then she slides it into the the pointy part of the angle into the bottom portion of the pocket because she said it goes in easier and she's absolutely right. Look at that. <gasps> Voila magic. Now let me let me tell you guys this. It's a struggle the first couple stars to make them work right. Um, don't get discouraged. Just keep trying. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and then you're going to take a fingernail. Now I'm used to doing it with a nail file. I did it this way with a nail file and I bent it in the middle and creased the paper. Went around to the next edge, bent it with a nail file, rolled it over, did it with a nail file, rolled it again to where you get your star. Some people pinch, some people use their thumbnails or their fingernails. And you may have some that are a little wonky. It's okay. There you go. There's a little star. Oh, the light's so bad. Anyway, you get a star. So, next you're going to need a needle and thread and a whole lot more stars. Let me show you what I got. I've got this many. What I do is I cut all my strips up, put them in a tall plastic bag, and I put a pair of scissors in it, and I go to the living room and I watch TV and I fold stars all night. So I think this might be either one or two sheets of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I wouldn't use uh, cardstock. I wouldn't use watercolor paper because it cracks when you go to fold it. So the best paper is computer paper where you printed a design or painted on it or jelly printed on it and scrapbook paper because they're the thinnest and they're easiest to manipulate with your fingers to make the star puff up. Let me see, do I have any flat guys in here? I had, I had a flat guy in here. Oh, here's, here's a flat guy. This one is three quarters of an inch wide. Take it and mash it. There you go. Maybe you see the green better. I think there's another one in here that's flat. What I would do is fold them all up one day, and then at night I go. I I would go and then I would fold the stars. I would cut all the strips, and then put them in the bag. And then the ne and at night, then I go in and I fold them while I'm watching TV. So I think, like I said, this is either one or two sheets of, tw I think this is two sheets of 12 by 12 paper cut at, the big one I showed you is three quarters of an inch. I think these guys are half an inch. You can make quarter inch, but they're kind of fiddly to work with. Half an inch seems to be a nice size. One inch, you get, you know, way bigger stars. It's whatever your preference is, whatever your fingers can handle and you think you can fiddle around with. All right, so you're going to need some sort of a, whoop, it came undone. You're going to need some kind of string. I'm using red uh, crochet, number five crochet cotton, and a pointed needle. You'll need a sharp needle. I tried using a, a blunted needle, but it does not go well. <laughs> So be careful you don't stab yourself. All right, so what I did was I tied a knot at the end of here, but I think what I did was I tied it with a loop in the end of it because I want it to hang up and I need to, for it to go on some kind of an end to hold it up. 
so I didn't want to just do it. There we go. So you have, I, I made a little loop on the end, and then I'm going to show you how to do the stars. Now, this takes a lot of stars. You could do it all stars, or, let me scoot these out of the way, or you could use your die cut machine and cut different kinds of ornaments, gussy them up, And, and then use these. Then I bought these at a large box craft store and they each had a gold lame little thread on them that I, let me get it off here, a little gold lame thread and I cut it off because I unwrapped one of these a few years ago and what's inside is a very small piece of styrofoam and a needle will go very nicely through it. So I put one star on and I just stick the needle right through the package and pull. Let me show you how to do the stars. Now the stars typically will have a hole or an opening on the ends of almost every one of them. So I find an opening that I can see and I stick it through there and usually the tip that's diagonal from the hole that you poked it through is a good place because your needle is straight and usually it'll go right through the end. So I put it through there. Also um, from the big box store I bought these that were on a garland and I tore it apart. They're just some kind of plastic stuff and they had holes in them already. Make sure you get a needle that'll go through the holes. So I string that on. Then I found these little guys that look like Christmas balls. They have a hole in them and thread them through. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. It's a very inexpensive project because I imagine most of you guys who do paper crafts have scrapbook paper or you can run stuff off on your Cricut or Silhouette or whatever it is you guys have. And they make really cute garlands. All right, so let me put one of these through. And then some more stars. It makes the cutest little garland. And even if it, you only just use two pieces of scrapbook paper cut at a half inch each, you get a lot of bang for your buck right there. That's a very inexpensive craft. And to be honest with you, if somebody did this to me, uh, gave one of these little mini garlands to me, I would be tickle pink. I think they're so cute. You can hang them over your windows on your curtain rods in your kitchen where you don't, you know, I'm allergic to pine sap, so I don't do like real stuff like that. I would love to have boughs and all that, but I'm allergic to pine sap, so I can't have it. But these would make the perfect substitution. They're very cute. And like I said, they're, they're not expensive to make at all. Just stick a needle through there. And now, you know, the dollar stores are starting to come out with little decorations, bags of decorations. So buy, whoops, buy a little inexpensive bag at the dollar store. Oh, that one's not going to work. Buy a little ex inexpensive bag at the dollar store. And you can do your needles right, your needle right through it and make a lovely garland. Okay, let me finish this and I'll show it to you when it's done. Okay, everyone, here it is all done. Now, I put some of the paper ornaments on there that I made just from random stuff in the art room. From the, um, from the Big Shot or whatever from die cuts. And then... You can hang, oh, not very well balanced. Anyway, there should be another big one somewhere in here. <laughs> but you can hang this down on something, and it's a very inexpensive little gift to somebody. And it's a very little, a very inexpensive little gift to do for a miniature Christmas tree. These little stars, you can do them as um, a baby banner for for babies, so you can do these like in a baby blue or a pink or whatever the mother's choices of colors. You can do these for 50th birthday parties in black and white. 
these little stars, these little magic stars, are so, lucky stars, are so easy to use to add as fillers or to use as a banner, whatever. But these are really a lot of fun to make and you can see they're very quick. The only part that takes a long time is to fold them up and you can do that one night with them sitting in your lap while watching TV or Zooming. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everybody. I hope this is a project that will work for you. Start now. <laughs> Bye.